hello and welcome back to this channel in today's video we are going to solve some examples on symmetric functions of the roots of a quadratic equation so in our first question if alpha and beta are the roots of a quadratic equation x squared plus 3x equals 5 construct an equation whose roots are alpha plus 1 and beta plus 1 so this is a very simple question however it can look very complicated now we are going to solve this question so to solve this question we have been given a quadratic equation with the roots alpha and beta and then we are asked to construct an equation whose roots are alpha plus one and then beta plus one so to solve the question we are going to find the sum of roots and product of roots of this existing equation then using those values we can find the sum of roots and product of roots of the new equation then using those values we can form a quadratic equation with the roots alpha plus one and then beta plus one so let's do that together now we have the quadratic equation x squared plus 3x equals 5 now we know that the general quadratic equation is given in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's represent this equation in this form. So we have x squared plus 3x and then we need to transpose 5 to the left hand side. So it becomes negative 5 equals 0. Now let's compare the two equations. So in that sense, our A is 1, B is 3, and then C is negative 5. So these are the values A, B, and C. So let's find the sum of roots and product of roots of this existing quadratic equation. Now we have the roots to be alpha and beta. So sum of roots means that we have alpha plus beta. And from the previous videos, we established the fact that alpha plus beta, which is the sum of roots, is equal to negative b over a. So basically, we are going to substitute the values of b and a in here. So we have b to be 3, so negative 3, and then we have a to be 1. So the sum of roots alpha plus beta is equal to negative 3. Now let's do same for the product of roots. So product of roots is alpha times beta. And that is equal to C over A. Now we have C to be negative 5. We have A to be 1. So this is equal to negative 5. So we've been able to find the sum of roots and product of roots of the existing quadratic equation. Now using these same values, let's find the sum of roots and the product of roots of the new quadratic equation we are going to construct. So the roots of the new quadratic equation is alpha plus 1 and then beta plus 1. These are the roots of the new quadratic equation we are going to construct. So the sum of roots is going to be, we are going to add these two. So we have alpha plus 1 plus beta plus 1. So this becomes alpha plus beta. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So the sum of roots is alpha plus beta plus 2. Now from here, we have alpha plus beta to be negative 3. So we are going to substitute that here. So negative 3 plus 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. So the new sum of roots. The new sum of roots is equal to negative 1. 
Now let's find the new product of roots. So the product of roots is equal to alpha plus 1 times beta plus 1. So we have alpha times beta, alpha times 1, 1 times beta, and then 1 times 1. So we can simplify this as alpha beta plus alpha plus beta plus 1. Now we have alpha beta to be negative 5. Alpha plus beta is negative 3 plus 1. So negative 5 plus negative 3 is negative 8 plus 1 is negative 7. So the product of roots is negative 7. Now let's form the new quadratic equation. So we had the new sum of roots to be negative 1 the new product of roots to be negative 7 and then we are going to construct the new equation the new quadratic equation so to construct a new quadratic equation we are going to use the formula x square minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots equals 0. So we have x squared minus the sum of roots is negative 1 times x plus product of roots is negative 7 equals 0. So we have x squared negative 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. 1 times x is x minus 7 so this is the new quadratic equation which has roots alpha plus 1 and beta plus 1 now let's solve the second question so for the second question the roots of the equation x squared plus 6x plus p is equal to 0 are alpha and alpha minus 1 we are going to find the value of p so to solve this question, we need to find the coefficients a, b, and c of the quadratic equation. Then we can find the sum and product of roots. And then using these roots, we can generate an expression to compare and find the value of p. So we know that the general quadratic equation is given by ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And then we have the equation x squared plus 6x plus p. So straight away, our a is 1, b is 6, and then c is p. Now let's move on to find the sum of roots and product of roots. So the sum of roots is equal to negative b over a. We have b to be 6, so negative 6, a is 1. So we have the sum of roots to be negative 6. Now to the product of roots. That is equal to c over a. We have c to be p. And then a to be 1. So we have the product of roots to be p. Now we are told that this equation has roots alpha and alpha minus 1. So from these two roots, let's generate an expression for the sum of roots and the product of roots. So for sum of roots, that is alpha plus alpha minus 1. So alpha plus alpha is 2 alpha and then minus 1. So let's call this equation 3. 
this equation one and then this equation two now to the product of roots so you are going to multiply alpha and then alpha minus one so this is the expression for the product of roots let's call this equation four So here we have sum of root equals negative 6 and then sum of root equals 2 alpha minus 1. So we say equation 1 is equal to equation 3. So we have the sum of root to be negative 6. Yes, negative 6. And that is equal to equation 3 2 alpha minus 1 now let's transpose negative 1 to the left hand side so we have negative 6 plus 1 equals 2 alpha negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5 that is equal to 2 alpha we divide through by 2 and then we have alpha to be negative 5 over 2 so this is alpha now since we are interested in the value of p, we are going to equate equation 2 to equation 4. So we say equation 2 is equal to equation 4. So we have p equals alpha times alpha minus 1. So from here we have alpha to be negative 5 over 2. So p equals negative 5 over 2 times negative 5 over 2 minus 1. Now let's find the LCM. So we have the LCM to be 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times negative 5 is negative 5. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have this multiplied by negative 5 over 2. So negative 5 over 2 times negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7 divided by 2. So negative 5 times negative 7 is 35 and then 2 times 2 is 4. So we have the value of P to be 35 over 4. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Do well to like the video, subscribe to this channel and share the video to your friends. Bye bye.